Hello again, this is Bernie, and uh, what I'm going to try and do here is to try and um, show some of you chaps how to do the uh, soldering. Now, on the SEMA 107 helicopter, this one here, um, we do get issues with soldering, um, just joining very small wires together. Now, it's quite easy really. Uh, what I've got here is a, a 30 watt um, soldering iron and a little little clamp here to hold certain things in place, whatever you want, and a roll of solder, and some flux. That's my parrot saying hello, so <laughs> you'll probably join in in a minute. And a couple of small wires here that I've um, <coughs> prepared by cutting off the um, insulation there. I've just shaved it off a little bit. You can do that with a, a small knife or something like that. And um, once it's all ready, uh, just take your soldering iron and um, underneath you've got a little plastic pad, uh, sorry, a foam pad full of water where you can just clean it off. Now that's one thing that's very important is cleanliness. Um, cleanliness, I don't mean surgically clean, just clean enough to, to make the solder. Now if you just dip it in the, in the flux here, um, you can see it's smoking a little bit. Um, I'll just move that out of the way so as I can show you clearly. Now here, if we just take the piece of wire and put it in the clamp, and uh, that's how to do it. Because you've only got th you've only got two hands. If you've got three, it's easy. But there's not many people with three hands, so I thought I'd get this little chap along to show you. But um, just get the flux, dip your wire into the flux, and we do both bits. And what the flux does, it actually cleans the the wire and um, stops it from all the grease getting into into the thread. Now I've just twisted that one round, um, as you can with uh, multi-core wire, uh, multi-core wire for flex, the type of wire that you get with the with the helicopter. Dip it in the dip it in the flux, and you do what they call tinning. <coughs> now tinning is quite simple. Just get your roll of solder. Now this is multi-core solder, which means in the centre of the actual piece of soldering wire, you've got little cores of flux built in. But I prefer to use uh, the other stuff because you know it's, it, I'll, I'll just find it easier. And put a bit of solder on your soldering iron, and just tin the wire like that. And if if your flux is good, then you should get a nice clean finish. On the wire. Okay, I'll just do the other one and twist it round. Add a little bit of cleaning flux, clean your soldering iron again, add a little bit more solder, and you can see the solder on the iron is quite shiny, but when it's tinned onto the wire, just leave it for a little a few seconds and then it will it'll the shine will go off of it. Now then <clears throat> to join the two wires together again simple a little bit of flat a uh, little bit of uh, solder and just put the two wires together and with a little bit of luck Got shaky hands just join them together. Hold it steady. And you'll see, if you watch closely, you can see the the solder changes from shiny to like a matte finish. And uh, that tells you it's it's set. And there you go. Really tough joint there. Now, <clears throat> if you want to do soldering on the motherboard of the helicopter, uh, that's just as easy. Here's one I've got um, out of a, a bit of a major <laughs> bit of a major incident. But anyway, I use this one for spares. Just put it in there. That gives you a third hand. And I've left on it this motor. Now the motor wires are very very thin, um, but they're just as easy to take off. And it's just a matter of interest. These are the two main uh, wires from the battery. So you've got the um, if it's upside down, you've got red on the right, black on the left, 
easy to remember. Uh, that's the way it would be in the helicopter itself when it's upright. So we turn it over and to take off the second wire all you do is very carefully just touch the wire and it comes off. Simple as that. And um, if you want to um, take a bit of insulation off just pull a piece off and then if you need to put it back on add a bit of solder I say this solder is a little bit on the big side but it should do the job quite well and tin it and then just touch just enough to make it join there that one is joined but I knocked off <laughs> I've just knocked that one off but uh, that's not a problem you can always bung that back on again again tin it it should be flux quite well and touch it. Uh, not as easy as it looks on the motherboard. That's why I try not to do um, that kind of work unless it's necessary. Now, <clears throat> with a motor, if you're going to change a motor, for instance, or anything else, like your battery, I would leave quite a bit of wire on the circuit board itself. Cut the wire here. <laughs> Keep saying what? Aren't you listening, Ben? That's my parrot. Sorry, Ben. Right, cut a piece of wire off the bait there, leave the excess wire on the motherboard, then you don't have to touch that. And uh, everything should be easy, but you shouldn't really strip it down to that extent. I mean, this has just been taken apart. Well, what I've got it here, um, this is the receiver for the infrared, which is sent from the controller. Uh, that's the actual receiver. This is the brains of it all, this spider looking thing here. And I think, I'm not sure, I'm sure someone will correct me, but I'm pretty sure that this little piece here that's staying up is the actual gyro that keeps the helicopter in, in flight. Um, <clears throat> there's your um, charging port, and here we have the switch. Now what I'm going to do later on is I'm going to try and take that switch off of the motherboard and replace it with a new one. Um, that would be another uh, soldering issue but um, I'm going to have to really look at that closely with uh, one of these. Now, I suspect you've seen these before, the, ju the jewellers use them, that's a 24 times magnification. That one's a little bit easier on, on working if you, you know, if you can hold one of these in your eye, like a, a monocle or something like that. But they are exceptionally good for getting in close and seeing what's, what's what with the, with the, with the small uh, components, because they are very, very small. But like I say, don't, don't try and solder on the motherboard. Um, it's much easier to leave lots of wire on there and do it from this end. Uh, get a, a little knife or something, shave off the insulation and just go through the soldering which I showed you earlier. And there it is. That's a really good solid joint. Probably stronger than the actual wire itself. Um, I've left quite a bit of a gap there. Not a gap, an extra long piece. But um, if you ever want to uh, disconnect a wire, clean your soldered iron. Um, a bit of flux and as you can see as it melts it just falls apart it's that simple and that's how you, how you do it okay thanks for watching